Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles Sherman in West Hollywood and I'm here with Amy Barham with her movie Don't Mess with Julie Whitfield. Let's take a look at a clip. Done. That's my J. Crew delivery. Dan has a work event tonight. I really need that dress. J. Crew for an event? I mean, they're fine for everyday staples, but. Oh! Coming! <clears throat> Amy, congratulations on your film. Thank you very much. I just want to say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> because what a journey you took me on. Uh, but for those that haven't had the pleasure of seeing your film, tell, tell us a brief synopsis. Well, it's about two psychotic soccer moms who are in a fight to the death over who gets to head the planning committee for their uh, kids' school fundraiser. I mean, it's the best synopsis <laughs> ever, isn't it? I mean, wh why would you not want to watch that film? Um, it's brilliant. I mean, it's so much fun. It's so alive, so fantastic. I, I don't think I'm ever going to look at uh, parents in the same way again uh, when they're doing things for their school. Um, where it's all there. Now, obviously, you know, um, I hope this wasn't based on, on, on real experiences, but um, where, did the, where did the inspiration come from? Or was it? <laughs> Um, it's certainly based on experiences I've wanted to create in oh, my, yeah, you know, right. but I've never, I assure yeah. you, never acted upon. Um, uh, no, I mean, um, it, it is to a certain extent based on my real life experience mm -hmm. of my son going to school and becoming part of this world of very competitive parenting and um, specifically competitive mothering. Um, and I think there's an enormous pressure on lots of women to be this kind of perfect have it all uh you know person who you know never gives their kid the wrong sippy cup and has yeah. a pinterest worthy birthday party every year yeah. and it's and there's so many missteps you can make and mistakes you can make and it's kind of like very insane making and um so i just wanted to sort of hold a carnival mirror up to that and say well what if it did drive someone insane you know what if mm. they just took that to the nth degree and you know started maiming and murdering people because they just couldn't take that pressure I, anymore I love, <laughs> it. I love it it's great i'm glad you did it through filmmaking <laughs> yeah, as opposed to real life myself. no 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 but it, you put it in such a uh, it's such a wondrous way and you're absolutely true i actually used to work in schools in hammersmith where you're from in england uh, in schools and saw the pressure of parents and there's a lot of pressure to keep up with yeah, you know on, on the other side it's ter it is terrifying <laughs> like the right sippy cup and the right bag and the right uniform and um but oh my goodness it was just a, a, a great explosion of great characters great co comedians as well how did you come about finding your cast i mean i was so lucky to have casey and mary elizabeth agree to be in the movie because i kind of wrote it for them yeah um they are friends of mine and um um, you know that there's just no one more perfect comedic timing wise than those two people to me they are just firstly enormously funny just <laughs> dropping the ad-libs everywhere you know every take was wonderful they are consummate professionals so you know just made my life a dream to direct and then you know, did the, all their own stunts, which mm -hmm. I just want to give them massive they props for. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got to see this. I mean, you, you, at one point, you're what, you know you watch a dark comedy, but it's like you're watching an action film. It's like, it, it's I mean, pretty intense. We had one day to shoot all of the action sequences, oh all God, of the no fights. Um, no, and no. I, I had a stunt supervisor. I had two stunt girls there. Um, and on the day, you know, Casey and Mary Elizabeth came to me and they said, you know, this is such a fun opportunity for us to do something that we don't get to do, mm -hmm. i.e. beat each other up all day. <laughs> Can we do as much of the stunts as possible? Um, and for me, that was a dream because it made my life a lot easier because it's hard to cover stunt women, yeah. you know, and make sure you don't see their faces so that things work, you know, yeah. in, in the edit. Um, so the stunt supervisor was kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know, like it's going to be tough. Like there's a lot of punching and throwing. And mm -hmm. um, I think we used the stunt girls like just for one or two shots, like when she throws her down in the mm -hmm. bedroom, just because that would have been unsafe for Casey because yeah. um, she I didn't mean, know how really, to fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the majority of what you see is, is them.
well, it's it. I'm ama and they're still here to tell the tale, which they is great. <laughs> no one, no one died, thankfully. No. Um, but uh, but uh, you, what's also great is you have a really great style of writing that I just was like, I want to see series. I want to see it. It's so much fun and it's so quick and poignant. Um, and then you directed as well. What what's it like releasing your kind of film baby for your writing and directing the piece as well? Kind of terrifying. It's terrifying. Um, yeah. I've only been writing for about three years now, wow. um, and this is my first time directing. So, it's um, yesterday when everyone saw the movie. That was the first time anyone's seen anything I've ever done outside of people wow. involved in the project. So, How did that feel? terrifying. <laughs> like, and but, um, just really special, just because I I just didn't know what reaction it was gonna get. I, I actually had tears in my eyes by the end of Aww. it because I was just so like, wow, this has been two years in the making and yeah. it's taken me a long time to have the courage to write and now people are in a movie theater in Los Angeles yeah. enjoying it and, and that's just me, I don't know. Like, I, I know, I, I'm glad you said that because I always go on at every screen and I say you don't realize what people have been through to make this film and how much it means to have this moment to, yeah. to share your film and, and showcase that because it's the defining moment when you're audience and I was backstage, people were laughing out loud <laughs> uh, watching your film as well. What is that feeling like when you've worked two years and then you know all of a sudden you're selected with a new filmmakers LA? What's that feeling like to have your film selected that you wrote and directed? It's just... Um saying like you feel vindicated is kind of like a weird thing to say mm -hmm. but you know you I paid for the film myself okay. um, wow. with um, some severance money I got from the reason that I'm writing which is I got laid off from my job and um, oh, that's a great story, and I had a baby goodness. in the same two months and those two oh, things together kind of changed my life entirely and made me start writing um, and have Power the courage to do that amazing. so you know I it, it was I, I've paid for it myself, I've made it myself, I've put myself out there, I've bet on myself. And to, to have somebody outside of yourself kind of go, that's a good job, I like that, you know, we'll take yeah. that. That's, that's very special because, you know, it's, um, it's been a long sort of journey to get there and that's lovely. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that's such a wonderful story and um, I'm so pleased that a whole audience get to see it. And, you know, you've been selective for film festivals nationwide because everyone's loving your work, which is which is which is truly great. Um, what what's next? What's next for you? Um, I'm taking a film to Tribeca next month, which I'm very Amazing. excited about, um, and that will be great. Um, I'm um, developing "Don't Mess with Julie Whitfield" as a a TV show because I'm not done yes. with her yet. Yes, no, please don't. <laughs> this character is involved, definitely. Um, and I'm also writing an action comedy spec, feature spec, because that's that's really what I want to do is action comedy. That's my that's my joy. So. Oh, for, this is I love it when you found like when you found a genre that you know that you kind of identify with and you yeah. really do do it so amazingly well. Um, it's, it was, I had so much fun. I'm glad you said about the characters because I wasn't done with the characters yet. I was like, no, you've left me wanting more. Please give me some more now, um, which is great. Um, it's also amazing because, you know, when you move from another place and you come here and you move your whole life here, um, it's a big step. Yeah. And you said you've been here six years now from the lovely Hammersmith in London in the UK. Um, what advice do you have to anyone that is wherever around the world, either here in Los Angeles, that want to follow in the journey as a filmmaker? I think just be brave enough to do it and to know that you have something to say and it's, you know, you deserve mm. to say it. Yeah. Um, because I think especially as women, we find it very difficult to kind of go, oh, you know, I, I've, I've got this little thing, but oh, I don't deserve to do it, you know, and I did that for a long time and procrastinated for many years, and I wish I'd done this sooner. Yeah. So I would say if you have an idea and, you know, you, you think you have something to say, then just go for it and do it and just don't wait. <laughs> no, that's, that's right. And I'm glad you said about that because obviously your film was part of Women's Independence Month. Mm -hmm. um, we celebrate amazing female filmmakers throughout the entire year um, but it was great because we had the alliance of women directors and women in yeah. film last night which are great organizations and support and um, certainly we are you know wanting to show the great talent that is out in the world with, with female filmmakers because we got some statistics to change and um, we got to improve that so um so thank you very much for leading the way of your writing and directing i can't wait to see much more of your stuff thank um, you so, so please let us know oh well deserved <laughs> you've got the talent we just we just operate thank you very much thank you